everybody, it's Jo here and I hope that wherever you are that you're safe and well. In this week's video, it's about being back to school. For a majority of us, we're back to school within the next week or so. For those up in Scotland though, they're back already. So this is just some tips to try and get your head in the right place for going back to school. If you're new to my channel, welcome. It's a channel that's dedicated to support children and young people with regards to your mental health. It's about you taking a responsibility and trying to understand how you're feeling as well as trying to take steps for you to better help yourself. If you haven't subscribed already, then please do. It's incredible to think that I only started in March and I have got hundreds and hundreds of subscribers. It's <laughs> crazy, um, but I love doing it. And I've got some good news for you at the end. So there's three steps that I want us to consider. So, and those three steps for us to get our head and our mind and our body back in the game ready for school. Because if we're to have a bit of a reality check here, we've had at least six months off school. And even those children that were key worker children, even though they went to school, it wasn't school as they knew it. So for us all, we're all in the same situation. And that's not just you children and young people, that's us adults that work within a school as well. And having that reality check is that school life is gonna be different, so we can't deny that. And for some children, certainly the year sevens, it's gonna be a completely new experience for them. It's different because obviously for different schools, they're doing it in different ways, I get that. But whether you've got a learning zone or a set classroom, it's different. It's going to be different. But we need to embrace change. And my first tip is about how it's important for you to get organised. Organised, organised, organised. Because if there's anything that can make us feel as if we fret, as if we're worried, as if we chew ourselves up, whether we're anxious or whatever it might be, is it's feeling out of control and when we have those feelings out of control such as going back to school the coronavirus friendships family life when there's things out of our control it can leave us feeling helpless hopeless despair so what we do have is we do have this ability to control a certain amount of things and for us for you personally that's to get you back to school and for you to get organised and get in control would be for you to prepare your school bag, to try on your school uniform just to make sure it all fits and that you've got the right tie and the badge, to make sure that you've got the right equipment and stationery. And that's just you trying to take control of what you can control because it's that elimination process. There's a quote from Will Smith, always be ready and you'll never have to get ready. And I love that one, and this is why. Whenever I get in from school, get in from work, get in from school, I always get my bag ready for the next day. Reason being is if I'm always going to be ready, then I'm never gonna have to get ready the next day and rush and be frantic and hectic. I can just go. And you've got a sense of responsibility for you to help yourself as much as you can. And to do that also might be to do a practice run with your journey to school, whether that's by bus, walking, by bike. It's just making sure that you know the journey, you know where you're going, you know the time that it will take you. You might need to find out if there's other quicker routes. It's just getting yourself organised, getting yourself prepared and getting yourself in a sense as, as taking as much control as you can with going back to school. My second one is about acknowledging your feelings. For those that watch my videos regularly, you're going to be like, oh, here she goes again. But it is so important to acknowledge how you're feeling. Ideally, I would love it if you had the opportunity to speak to somebody about how you're feeling with regards to going back to school. And if you haven't, then there's those helplines out there. There's those chat services. You've got Childline, Harmless, um, Shout UK, Cooth, depending on where you live. So it's just acknowledging your feelings. And I'd always recommend a mind dump activity. 
where you literally have a pen and piece of paper and you write down everything that is on your mind. Whether that's worries, whether that's thoughts, feelings, ideas, maybe creating a to-do list, just having the ability to empty your mind in a sense so then you can see it. You can prioritize it. You can even think about what you can and you can't control. And by acknowledging your feelings is a really important one because going back to school for some of us is, stick with me here, imagine that you don't like flying and what you're having to do right now is you're having to wait in the departure lounge at an airport knowing that you're about to board a plane and you don't like flying. And that's a bit like school is it's having to wait what we know is coming whilst feeling anxious, stressed and worried and they, you'll feel them, you will physically feel them sometimes and whether that is a pounding heart or feeling tight chested, worries in your tummy which might make you feel as if you're going to be sick and sometimes, this could be a different video actually, sometimes when you feel as if you're going to be sick you get it into your head so much that you fear being sick. It could be butterflies, it could be a tension headache. And no matter how you're feeling, I'd recommend you to, to do an activity to ground yourself. Okay, Google it, there's loads out there. But one of my favourites is with regards to your breathing, is to just tap it out. Okay, and as you tap it out, it might be, um, I can do this. I love that one. So just tap it out. Just slow down your breathing. Maybe get your hand and just take your finger around each finger and it's literally breathing in, pause, out. Or it might even be the lotus flower, which is one of my favorite ones. And again, you can do this if you're at home, you can do this in the toilet when you're at school, wherever, but it's just literally in breath, out breath. It doesn't matter which one, but it's just focusing on your hand that it will allow you to just calm yourself down. Because again, it's you taking control and having that responsibility. Because no matter what's gonna happen, your chimp, your amygdala, is gonna be going off. So just be aware of it and just take control. And my final point would be, be you. Be you, be brave. And that first day back, you might have to be brave especially if you're in year seven and it's your first day and you might have to tap into that that skill of being a little bit more outgoing saying hello even though your voice might be shaking because there's one thing for certain is that this is a new beginning each academic year is a new beginning a new start if you've had poor behavior in the past this is a perfect opportunity for you to wipe the slate clean because that's what your teachers do that's what the teachers do is they have a fresh start with each and every one of their students. You're going to have the opportunity to maybe new subjects, new teachers, new friends. And it's about embracing it. So instead of dreading it, fearing it, reframe and just think about the, the fresh start and the opportunities. And if you can avoid drama, please do. Just avoid drama and always try and adopt having that positive outlook, that positive mindset. And just be aware of that, that cheeky chimp. Good news for you guys is that I'm going to, even though you're back to school, I am going to carry on with this YouTube channel. I am going to try to keep going weekly. It's going to be hard, but I'm going to try and we'll just take it as it comes, but we're going to just keep going until Christmas and just keep enjoying it. And thank you for everybody's emails. It means so much to me and I just, I'm really grateful. Anyway, let's get back to our new normality. Let's embrace it. Let's be brave. And most importantly, just be you because you're pretty awesome, even if you don't know it yet. Take care, everybody. Bye.